Uh, so, Greg, how are you feeling about the first episode, buddy? Super exciting. Um, I, I consider myself really lucky. Obviously, it was about Callens, which was fortunate. <laughs> but I couldn't have pulled it off with, if I didn't have such a good team. And they were incredible. You're looking at us like we were the team. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. just being yeah. nostalgic. Yeah. But one massive shout out goes to Joey. Woo! Joey was an Joey! amazing team lead. Couldn't have done it without him. I was really, really fortunate. And um, I would also like to shout out to Reese and Kevin, who did the alcohol Woo! tasting. Honestly, it was amazing. It was a they, they did like it lasted ages and they, they learned so much in such a short period of time and they were absolutely incredible. So big shout out to Kevin, Reese, and Joey. Awesome. Woo! So, what, what do you think about the girls' performance and how they were portrayed tonight? How do you think about how they did in the actual? I think so. Having been there, sort of known the girls for a while, I, I think it's I think the girls are lovely. I think they're really really nice people. Um, Honestly, I feel fortunate to have met such a great bunch of contestants for this for this year, to be honest. And whatever way they're portrayed on TV, I honestly hope to stay in touch with everyone because they're just all lovely. Okay, so obviously politicians answer. How did you think about how they did in the actual <laughs> like, challenge? As in, as in their performance? Yeah. A performance? Um, I, I think it was sort of, it's difficult for them because there, there was a bunch, it's, it's very difficult organising boat tours because you never know what the weather's going to be like. It's really difficult. If it's too hot, people might not want to be exposed to the elements I'm sorry, all day. I know you're recording, but I really thought you were going to say it's so difficult to organise women. That's what I was going to say as well. <laughs> that, that's okay. It's, 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 no, 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 no. Perfect. Oh, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying you, you, you were saying the weather is difficult to organise. So, honestly, it was a really difficult one. We were fortunate because Joey and I had some experience in tourism. The girls, I think they came from a more corporate background, so they didn't quite have that experience behind them. And it probably didn't really help them that much in this particular task. But in later tasks, who knows? We'll see what happens. Ooh. Beautiful. So uh, how did you feel about the celebration? Like when you won that task, how did you feel? How did I feel? I felt <sighs> like I had a weight off, lift off. I felt, <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt relieved. I felt really, really relieved. Did you feel um, like you had a cannonball-sized weight lifted off your shoulders? <laughs> yeah, I, definitely. <laughs> I feel like you could shoot for the stars. Like I could shoot for the stars. They could probably yeah. hit eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, it was a real relief. Um, but yeah, as I say, it wasn't just me. It was the guys. Everyone was amazing on my team. So, how did you feel like you performed in that first challenge in that first episode? I felt I was fortunate because what I was doing was my previous job. Um, now, I've got experience in tourism and heritage so that, and cannons, so it was quite <laughs> fortunate. Um, but obviously, I don't have experience in everything. So there are times when you slip up, there's times when you do really well. It just depends what your skill set is. And that's why you have a diverse team for everybody to use a strength <laughs> where it's necessary. You smashed it though. You did very well. Yeah, you did too humble. <laughs> is there anything you think you could have done better in that episode, in that challenge? I I'm sure there's always things you can do better, but honestly, um, none come to uh, mind. Not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not, not come to mind. And if, if regarding teams and other stuff, I couldn't have. I couldn't have asked for a better team. Okay. Fair so enough. nothing specific you felt. So did you feel like you did anything really good in this challenge? Like, what were your positives? I just think I had a really good support network behind me. That's oh, brilliant. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that's brilliant. Awesome. Uh, Greg, where can we watch The Apprentice, the next episode of The Apprentice? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> BBC One and BBC iPlayer. And what if you missed the first episode? How do we watch that? Um, BBC iPlayer, isn't BBC it? BBC iPlayer On Demand. Awesome. On Demand. <laughs> We've actually got some nice comments we'd like to share with you as well. Yes. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea to start with Reddit. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna start I get a, a nice Twitter softball first. Oh, God, oh, Twitter's no better, my uh, dude. We, we all know Cannonball Gregory pulled the boys into the wind. Oh, oh wow! That's it. Yeah. What do you like, Greg? I like that. Shots have been fired. <laughs> 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 On that same note, I'm an official Gregory the Cannon Ebbs super fan. Oh, <laughs> that's, cute. That's, that's, very cute. That, that's very cute. <laughs> you cannot teach charisma like this. This man is a Saturday evening BBC quiz show <laughs> cannon fodder. <laughs> <laughs> Two teams of families attempt to win balls throughout the, the show to fire at a prize board in the final. Well, you heard oh I mean, you, you <laughs> heard That's such a sick idea. idea. You heard the BBC give the fans what they want. Give the fans what they want. Danny, come on. Yep. So, uh, I just have a very simple one. 
Gregory Cannon Man is my favourite so far. <laughs> oh, oh very that, that's so sweet. That's really lovely. Go on, Greg. Um, I, I got this lovely message. Um, I won't say who it's from um, for to protect my identity, but I do want to <laughs> say, a bit, so they said this, hi, Greg. It would mean the world to me if you replied. Oh, um, too light. So and he didn't too reply, too reply by the way. No, he did. He did. He did. I, said, <laughs> I said good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> he didn't so, reply. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's really, really. Can nice. we have one bad one, please? They've just compared you to Moss. <laughs> <laughs> this this should be on your socials because it's kind of mean, but. Not to you. Not, not yet. Was it just me, or was that episode just a bit meh? The only interesting person is Gregory. Oh, oh, it's no. hard to find bad one. Apparently, like... Viewers think Gregory is already going to win! Yeah. Uh, that's a headbutt. Yeah, dude, my guy, my guy, my guy, look! Yeah. That's a headbutt! Oh, that's wonderful, that's, oh, that's, that's fucking beautiful. The Yorkshire Lives thing is, um... Uh... Apprentice viewers switch off over cringe episode, but Gregory Ebbs becomes canon star as he's the only interesting thing on the show. <laughs> oh, oh, my cousin just sent me something. They said oh. they're calling you the goat. Oh, the goat, the goat. Yes. Greatest of all time. He's the goat! I love, I love that they then defined it for you. Okay, so so we're going with the bad comments now. Boo! Ooh, Boo! Comments. Greg looks like a 12 year old. Yeah, I saw that one. Come on, come on. I tell you what, that's a compliment. I'm glad I look so young. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's better than that's looking fair. like 90. You're going to be a dilf. Like, like, legit, the I... only one I could find called Greg a batty boy. So, like... <laughs> I don't think Sue Perkins and Michael McIntyre were expecting news of that affair they had all those summers ago to come to light like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> The tour guest said, what do they do today? But Gregory heard, go ahead and slay. <laughs> Gregory definitely reminded the teacher about homework at school. <laughs> I love it. I'm the only one in this room that can confirm that. <laughs> and did he? I, mean... I don't think I want to say. <laughs> um, all I wanted to say is every single person on The Apprentice season 17 is great. Um, it's a real shame Emma had to go. She was a lovely person. Um, and I feel really lucky to have known her. And I, I'd also like to reach out to all my colleagues from The Apprentice, especially the guys, because I worked with them so much, that they're all amazing. And Joey, really well done to being team lead for the first task. You were amazing.